On this episode of NSFW Show, it's our Christmas Spectacular! We are joined by a very special guest from the North Pole. We hear from some jaded elves. We do our Christmas production of Frosty the Snowman and a musical treat that'll jingle your bells. It's all coming up on this edition of NSFW Show. Christmas time is here. Show for you. <laughs> Pretty good, bro. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 210, recorded on December 17th, 2013. NSA NTA. This episode of NSFW is brought to you by Audible.com. To download a free audiobook of your choice, go to audiblepodcast.com slash NSFW. OMG, I can't believe it. We have live in studio not one but two of Santa's elves. Thank you very much for taking time off from your busy schedule. Joining us all the way from the North Pole, we've got Snowers, the elf. It's good to see you again, Snowers. Thanks. Okay, and uh, and uh, and and you are. Snowflake, glad, glad, glad to meet you. Snowflakes, you and you're confusing glad. Confusing on the elf word with all the names. It's always snow something or another. Wait, you're saying you're saying that all all of the elves are named something snow. Yeah, it all has snow in their names. Like, like what? Like, uh, I mean, you're snowers. She's snowflakes. Yeah, but eventually you end up with the names like Snowfort. Snowfort is an elf. Yes, and, and Snowball and. Snowball is another another one. Okay. Snowmobile. Snowmobile is an is an elf there at the <laughs> North Pole. Oh, Snowflakes has as a question. Who's in my yes. class in kindergarten? There was a lot of elves, so we can't say all the names. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you want me to stop saying all the names of elves? Okay. Pretty all right, much, they're pretty soon. All snows. And with that, that means it is go time. But wait, wait, wait. I, it, it, no, that doesn't feel right. I feel like we got to take this this up. Like, I know we always play the Vicario theme. We always just get in. Like, this is a Christmas episode. I feel like we got to do something a little special. Here we go. Yes, this. SFW Spectacular Woo! Christmas Holiday Special begins! What is going on, beautiful people? It's me, Brian Brushwood, joined by, as always, by Just Robert Young in Petaluma, California. How are you going, J.R.? Why? Brian, uh, I'm enchanted. Are you? Like, like you, with you, Christmas magic. Are you bedeviled with a hex of some variety? Is there something I can I do was. to clear that up? Uh, I, was, I was hexed by way of a fat, jolly old man. Oh, well, uh, you know, they, they say that the only way to cure that is to set, uh, sever the head. <laughs> you know, you think you have them down, right? Yeah, yeah oh, well, Turns sure. he's back in the sequel. Yeah, no, well, you stab him through the heart. You're like, no, did we say the heart? We meant you have to cut off his head. And then you cut off his head. And then in the third movie, they're like. Because it's always, it's always like, it's like, there's no man who could have survived that. <laughs> and then all of a sudden the person who says that, slice! Their head comes right off. Because he's not a man at all. He's indeed Santa Claus, the immortal. Exactly. Oh, speaking of man, wouldn't it be great? Yeah, you know what? Uh, let's let's just jump right into it. I say we just give the give the old fat bastard a call up at the North Pole right now. 
Uh, listen, it, it is a tradition here on this show, on the NSFW show. We have had Santa Claus on our Christmas episodes call in and answer questions from the good boys and girls. Last year, uh, I'm not going to say why he wasn't on, probation, but <laughs> it didn't end up happening. Today, we return him back to his rightful place on the NSFW show. Brian, do we have our connection to the North Pole? I'll tell you what. As you can imagine, there's a lot of difficulties getting a hold of the North Pole, but I believe our technical wizards at, oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, the Christmas spirit right here live in studio uh, except not live at all, but like virtually over Skype. It's Santa Claus, ladies and gentlemen. Santa Claus! Yay! Santa's drinking a large bottle. Ho, ho, ho. Santa, Santa, how are you? You you, you look uh, like you're you're enjoying some Christmas cheer there. Well, um, uh, Santa's been on hold for quite a while. <laughs> We apologize, Santa. We did have some technical difficulties getting started. But we're... I'm, just, I'm easing into it. Let's just say that. <laughs> no, that makes it's sense. Bitch, baby, let's do it. <laughs> All right. So, Santa, I mean, I have to say that your hat and beard, and now you've spilled a lot of wine on your beard. <laughs> it seems to be very absorbent. <laughs> I hope that comes out when Mrs. Claus washes it. <laughs> is that is that something? It looks you do? like you've been blood. Your lip has been bloodied in a fight at this point. <laughs> you know what? I ain't feeling no pain, brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, now, uh, Santa. We, of course, uh, it's a rare and precious opportunity to have you here on the show. And what we've loved about you is your forthright nature, the fact that you're willing to tackle the main issues head on. So we put the word out to the fabulous members of Chat Realm last night that we were going to have an exclusive interview with Ch with Santa and that we would finally ask the, uh, the 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 pressing questions that are on everyone's mind. Oh, is this about whether or not I'm a white man or not? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, we can start there, Santa. Are you white? Um, well, you're looking at me, brother. Do I look white to you? You look pretty white to me. <laughs> I don't I don't know why there's all this controversy about my race. Um, this year, it's never. I don't know why everyone's talking about what color sand is. I don't know why they're not talking about where all these Chinese elves come from. <laughs> <laughs> well, Santa, you may be white, but your beard is certainly turning pink by way of the Merlot, which is spreading evenly across your chin and mustache. <laughs> yeah, I'm a white man. <laughs> all right. Well, as as a as... Well, online online, you can be whatever you want to be. <laughs> Do you like you do you know, like to go online and, and, and catfish people, Santa? Is that what you do in your off months? No, but I like to be Deshaun Claus every once in a while. <laughs> Deshaun Claus? There's nothing let's wrong just, with that. You know what? Let's just finish. Let's just say Santa's skin is a gray area and just move on. All right, right? that's fine. I'll tell you what. We have a few questions here. This first one that I'm seeing. Uh, there's uh, somebody who asks, Stephen asks, Dear Santa, I heard you had a chapter about you pulled from the Diamond Club by Patricia Harkins Bradley because it was too salacious, too close to home, and you didn't want Mrs. Claus to find out. Is this true? P.S. Wouldn't you be cold wearing nothing but your boots and a beard to show that naughty lady a good time? Stephen. Uh, no, that ain't, no, no. What, I don't know what... Santa don't have time to read literature. Let me just say that. <laughs> well, I, I, you, that would be the first accusation of uh, Patricia Harkins Bradley's um, the book, The Diamond Club, of being literature. That but would also be a deft avoidance of the question, Santa. The question was whether or not <laughs> well, you had a chance to remove, and you just said that you don't read books. That's not well, an answer. Uh, you, know what? you try to read all the letters from these goddamn kids, and then you tell me what books are on your reading list, pal. <laughs> all right. You know how boring. You know how boring it is reading all those things. You know the worst part. Hey kids, newsflash! I already know what you're gonna ask for on your on your Christmas list. I I, I got all your phones and your emails tapped. You know, you think about it. <laughs> now, you now this is Santa without NSA. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fair point. It's a fair point, uh, Brian. Let's move on to our second question. What's Edward, up, Santa? Edward, Remember the cookies and milk was a wild it. night, man. Hey, I think you left this last time. Are you coming over again? Don't forget the red and white suit. And then they uh, included the picture of a ball gag. That is from 
SR. Are you going to be participating in a Christmas BDSM activity at uh, at SR's house this Yuletide Eve? You know what? You travel to all the houses in the world and you do a shot of eggnog at each one of them. You get into some kinky stuff. All right? Do I remember? Oh. No. <laughs> it happened? No. <laughs> all right. That's good. Let's Here's the thing. You know, you, you remember climbing the rope in gym class? You, know, you remember how that felt down in your crotch? Sure. That's sure. kind of what it's like going up and down the chimneys. You know what? You mix the eggnog with a little bit of chimney dick pretty soon, even the reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> oh That's I I'm not just talking about friends. No, you? no, I got, I got it. I got no, it. I'm sure. I'm sure. Listen. I'll tell you what, uh, this uh, Brandon asks, Dear Santa, I heard that the mall Santas are actually clones of yourself that you created in order to destroy the world. If this is true, then when is the fateful doomsday so that I may prepare? Also, can I have a gun? Please give me a fighting chance, Santa. No, no you, this, guy, this guy has been listening to too much Alex Jones, Glenn Beck. <laughs> in other words, no, you're basically retarded. That's a stupid question. <laughs> Don't write to me next year. No presents for you. Now, okay, you're now... Not- you- any guns, no AR-15. You're not on some naughty list. You're on every government watch list there is, probably. Now, now see, here's the thing, though, is is we actually have this video, this audio tape from an actual performance of the Alex Jones show in which he makes exactly those ac- accusations. Justin, can you roll that tape for us? No, uh, I uh, give me a second, Brian. <laughs> Uh, well, by by the way, by actual tape, I meant improbability of Justin Robert Young to be Alex Jones at will. Oh, 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 that. I thought, okay, hold on. Wait a minute, Brian. Let me roll that tape. I just need to pull it up right here on my iPad. Here we go. You, know what? you ain't no Fred Norris, I'll tell you that. <laughs> now, the problem is... What you have here is a army of Santa Claus clones spread around based on a pact made by Microsoft, B.B. Newworth, and the creators of the Mary Tyler Moore Show at the Build-A-Bear Conference in 1945. And if you do not understand that, then you're a Jibby Jockin' Hoover Babber, and I'm going to have a gun. I pooped in my hat. Oh, my God. That's, uh, that's straight from the, from the mouth of Alex Jones. I mean, is that is that your, you really want to just say that's nonsense, Santa? Um, that's a bunch of crap. <laughs> <laughs> strong, strong rebuttal. Strong rebuttal, Santa. Here we go. Dear Santa, ever since my mom and dad died, I had to live in a cardboard box in the alley. You stopped visiting. What gives? Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, you sit, you, sit, you, sit, you sit back and you think about it. Um, this whole Santa thing is just another huge global entitlement program, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, this is the thing, man, everyone's got their goddamn hands out and they're all bitching in the morning about paying the taxes and going on the food stamps. Well, try footing the bill for half of all the Christmas presents in the goddamn earth, all right? <laughs> That's a good point. You know, where's my stimulus package? It's right here, baby. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, this one. I says, think your stimulus package is continuing to spread on your upper lip. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, this one says, uh, box. "Dear Santa, I'm leaving a box full of cookies and cash by the fireplace. Can you please leave me a copy of the naughty girls list?" Sounds like you're looking for the filthy girls list. <laughs> wait, 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 is there a filthy girls list? Yeah. Why don't you check your mom's phone book? Because uh, you know. <laughs> Shots fired! Don't touch my person who wrote this letter because her and all her friends, wow. How about this one? Dear Santa, uh, I can get you that sneak into my house and leave presents every year on Christmas Eve, but why do you sneak into my house every other night of the year and touch my naughty places? Uh, Some uh, allegations of molestation to Chris Kringle. How do you respond, sir? You get every year it happens, you get all these litigious people trying to get you to admit something so they can sue you. Man, you take it to the Pope. That sounds really weird because <laughs> as he gets defensive, he sounds more and more like our attorney, Ira Sockman. He, he does. He, he, he does. <laughs> uh, do, do you need representation by any chance, Santa? Santa? I would think after breaking in every house in the world, I could use a good lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, 
Uh, Brian, how about you get the next one here? Sure. Next one says, uh, Dear Santa, I've been a really good boy all year. Is there any chance you could get me a leaked version of MC Allergy's new album, D's Nut Allergies? Yeah, uh, you really haven't been a good boy because uh, that's just a stupid question. <laughs> okay, good. That's fair enough. Next question. Uh, dear Santa, I'm a decently fit man who goes onto the internet and complains to many people uh, who are way more out of shape than myself about my body issues. What do you recommend I do? Um, mm, well, you know what? I'm a decently fit man, too, up in the North Pole. By North Pole standards, I'm a very good shape. <laughs> of course, I'm the only human being up here. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I hang around a bunch of elves, so they all think I'm fat, but... <laughs> so what does that make Mrs. Claus, a border collie? <laughs> Mrs. Claus has a big fat ass, that's all I'll say. <laughs> uh, truer words have never been spoken. Go ahead, Brian. Uh, listen, this one says, Dear Santa, I heard you had a problem with going up the chimney with a full package in your pants. If that's true, how do you fix it? Well, uh, remember what I said about the chimney deck earlier. That's a true story. <laughs> uh, that's a good point. I think you did. Uh, that, that's old turf. He already there we go. confessed about it. Dear Santa, I heard you like to drink milk with your cookies, but what's your real drink, alcoholic or non-alcoholic, of choice? Well, it's from Paul. <clears throat> we got a little drink up here in the North Pole that uh, we locals, we like to call it the reindeer piss. <laughs> okay. And, and so for uh, all of our listeners at home, how would they mix up a cup of reindeer piss themselves? Uh, you just drink it straight, right from the source. Oh. <laughs> It'll make you buy a blizzard, but, uh, you know, makes you makes you glow like Rudolph. So I, I highly recommend it if you're ever up in these parts. <laughs> Should have seen that one cup. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got one more here. Uh, recently, You know, it makes me recall an interesting point, though. You bring it up. It's very embarrassing to get thrown in the drunk tank in, uh, in, in your own continent. <laughs> in your own <laughs> continent, yes. Uh, uh, the, you know, uh, dear Santa, recently I heard an interesting story about your involvement in the fall of the Russian czars. Is it true, jolly old Saint Nick, that you actually stole oh, missing... Let's move on to the next question. <laughs> okay, great. We got one last one. All right, dear Santa, are you still into necrophilia? What? Uh, shut... Yeah, you know what? It was one time, it was an elf, and I didn't know it was dead, so... Congratulations on ruining Christmas because uh, you're never good at another gift again, Phil. <laughs> oh. Well, that's and it. And that was from Ben Franklin, <laughs> former president, former not president, guy on the bill. Uh, look, uh, uh, before we wrap things up, Santa, we know you're a busy guy. We thank you for, for coming in and spending, spreading your Christmas cheer all over your beard. Um, is, is there any message you have to, to the world's girls and boys? I just got a message to Mrs. Claus. I'm drunk, so lube it up because Santa's coming in for a crash landing in his sleigh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Santa Claus, wow. everybody. <laughs> that was really something. <laughs> Santa, thank you so much. As always, you're the best person who ever lived. Santa was a little raw this year, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 look, you're the one who said probation. You look, you think he's bad. Uh, let, let's. We got some more behind the scenes from mm. some elves working with it here. Take a look. At, let's like take a look at this. Well, let me ask some questions that everybody's thinking about right now. Uh, snowflakes. How long have you been working at the North Pole? A thousand years. A thousand years. Now, is that a long time in, El in Elf World? No. Yes. <laughs> no. Oh, so, so now you say no, Snowers. That's because, uh, because uh, like, how long have you been working there? About 2,000 years. For about 2,000 yeah. years. So you've been working there twice as long. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. It seems like every day is Christmas, and that makes you go so. Oh, so when every day is Christmas, it takes a lot longer. So it seems like I even drudge, longer. Then it just get turns to work. It drudge on and on. Well, so that's a good question. What what do elves do for fun? Uh, let's start with Snowflake. Snowflake, what do you do for fun? Well, I really like making the toys. You like making the toys. What's your favorite toy to make? Um, teddy bears. Teddy bears. Okay, and and snowers. What what about you? What do you do for fun? 
When you're on a schedule, there's no time for fun. Oh, I mean, I mean, you say that, but there's got to be some time that, that you blow off steam. We, what do you watch do to blow for t we watch TV in every spare minute. Okay. Oh, so you do, is there a favorite show up at the North Pole? Yes. Christmas specials of every TV show. <laughs> so what, what about like the Star Wars holiday special? Is they, they like that one? It's sad how many of them love it. Oh, so you, you feel different than, than the rest. I, I feel like they're all sharing in a Christmas cheer that, that you don't experience. Oh, no. It's just that I agree with most everyone in the world about the Star Wars Christmas special. Oh, that's a good point. All right, fair enough. All right, Justin. Uh, look, we got we got more conversations with the Jaded Elf. We, of course, have our big uh, performance coming up around the corner. But first, it seems like now is a good time for us to thank the, uh, the special elves that make this show possible. Absolutely. Brian? We're hearing the sounds of Christmas all around us. Sure. You know what I want you to do? Tell them all to shut up. Shut up. Here, I'll, I'm on it. Go ahead. Keep talking. Because the only sounds you want to hear are the subtle, supple shut sounds up! of audiobooks on audible.com. Stop! Here's the deal. You go on over to audible.com, me and Brian, we are, we are legit fans. We are believers in audible.com in ways that frighten our friends and family. We talk in such loving, glowing terms okay, of audible. Well, and it's not just that, but like you and I, you and I bear the mark of an audible fanatic, right? We 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 have the sickness where it's like you could tell us on the street. We do our on people, our inner thigh. We our bear the people, mark. Our people are marked in a way where it's like we got the glassy-eyed look of somebody who may physically be here doing the dishes. And maybe even be looking your way as you make noises, but we're not here. We're in a far no. off land slaying dragons that 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 uh, shoot fire out of their butts. Audible.com is a leading provider of audiobooks with more than one hundred and fifty thousand titles available in all types of literature, including fiction, nonfiction, and periodicals. For listeners of NSFW show, Audible's offering one free audiobook. Just go to audiblepodcast.com slash NSFW. That's audiblepodcast.com slash NSFW. And believe you me, me and Brian do it, and you'll do it too. Because we're a cult. <laughs> and you do what we say. <laughs> uh, right on, man. Dude, I'll tell you what, man. I really am on a total uh, a total bender. D did you know you could give gifts as uh, Audible books? A fan gave me a gift of an Audible book, and uh, and I started listening to it, and I'm digging it a lot. It's like a it's, – it's, it looks and feels like every military fiction book that you've read, except mm -hmm. for it is a world where – like magic just erupts, and so instantly it's militarized. So you have uh, special spec ops who are pyromancers and and hydromancers and arrow that's mancers right. and stuff. Yeah, that's, no, it's, it's a, really it, cool that idea. seems like kind of like the very very interesting core that lies within the seventeen thousand pages of uh, Mister Norris and Doctor Strange. Yeah, or whatever. Dude, I I couldn't get through uh, Jonathan Strange and and Mister Norrell. Uh, did did you finish that book? Uh, true story. I listened to it on Audible. Yeah. And uh, it's like seven parts or whatever. And I accidentally skipped a full part and I didn't realize it until I got to the end. That's the way that's the way I was. That's exactly the exact. So I got to the end. I know what happens at the end. I never made it to the end and I feel bad. I feel bad about that. But look, uh, look, sure. it's uh, long. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, but uh, look, hey, man. We we got to play. All right, we got we got two more segments of of uh, the the naughty gnomes uh, or uh, jaded elves, and uh, and we also have a mashup to take us out, and then we've got our our live performance. What do you want to do? Uh, what do you say? Because this would be a good portion in which we could possibly plug in our our, our friends uh, wishing us a happy Christmas. Uh, why don't we play? This is a, a, an original DJ Z exclusive. Holiday music for y'all. You're yeah. about to deck your halls right, and pull go. out your balls for <laughs> some D. What do you yeah. mean? Ho, ho, ho. 
what's up, baby? This your boy, Flint Flossy. Just want to say happy holidays from the whole Turquoise family. You already feel me, baby. Shout out to Justin. Shout out to Brian and the whole NSFW fam. We love you. You already feel me. Happy holidays to everyone out there. All our naughty farmers out there remain on the naughty list, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Have fun. Make sure y'all get that new album, Existing Musical Beings. Coming soon, baby. Coming real soon. Existing Musical Beings. It's going down. Much love. We love you. Happy holidays. Understanding this, Zach, uh, of, of that particular track. What's yes. the story on that? Talk to us. Um, I've gotten back to um, working with uh, multiple artists again. Um, basically, uh, members who were part of what was called the collective that we did uh, about two years ago. Um, we've started doing things together again. Um, basically, because a lot of them found out why I kind of stopped doing mashups for a bit, and they're getting me back into it. So. Yeah. All right. So it's well, like listen, you drug. are you you are returning to the top of your form, my friend, because that was amazing. Of course, uh, Turquoise Jeep, uh, who have been fantastic to the show this year, we are happy to have them in that small way, a part of this show. But Brian, our Christmas special would not be complete. Yeah. Unless we performed our Christmas play. Yes. Well, and as you know, the rules for the Christmas play is that we have to uh, have a script that's tightly written. We go through multiple rehearsals, usually over a four to six month period. Uh, what we do not do is come up with an idea two to three hours before we go live and have one of us write a script that nobody else in the entire room has written or read before. Nope. Which is why we begin with the following characters. We're going to be walking through this scene by scene so you guys can follow along with how we uh, we, we can produce this. Uh, there are three characters in this scene. It is Hinkle, the evil magician. Okay. Uh, well, I, th I think that's got to uh, be then, uh, that's got to be our own but Butcher Brant, right? Butcher that Brant playing okay. that uh, Hinkle, the uh, evil magician. Yep. Uh, and then, of course, we have an angry heckler. Played by uh, our, our famed DJ Z, Zach Holder. Okay. Uh, scene one, Hinkle the Magician does a terrible show to disappoint everybody in the audience. The angry heckler says nasty things to the magician. And uh, then the magician is uh, a PO'd to find that his rabbit 
has run away with his hat. All right, gentlemen, take it away. Come one, come all. I am Hinkle the Magician. You suck. Do I have any volunteers? No. All right. Have you ever had a key before? Yeah. I, Is this I, an ordinary key? I watched it on Scam School. You suck. Come on. Watch. That guy's so much better than One, you. Two, three. Where did it go? Behind you, you jackass. No, it had disappeared. All right. Think of a card. Any card. Got it. Okay. Here's a deck. It's in there. Ta-da! <laughs> This is the best magic. You are literally the worst magician I've ever seen in my entire life. Thank you, everybody, for the terrific show. Uh, you have to lose the hat, uh, magician. You have to be pissed off that you lost lost your hat. Oh. <laughs> it's gone. That's the best magic trick you've done yet. <laughs> Which brings us to scene two. The hat is brought out by the uh, by Hinkle's uh, pet rabbit and lands on Frosty the Snowman as he magically comes to life. Hinkle the Magician is furious that his hat is actually magic and swears he'll get it back. Man, it sucks being a dead-ass artifact created by children. Oh, hells yeah, y'all! Who's been blessed with the sweet caress of life? That's me, MFers Frosty, the MF and Snowman. Hi, magician. Who do you think you are? I, I just a snowman. I'm just a snow guy. Just a, a guy. What is this? That's on your face. It's your, it's your, it's your hand, I mean, sir. I mean, technically it's, on top of your face. No, it's, it's, it's a it's hat. It's my hat. That's what it is. It, it's a hat. Did you think it's magic? Well, I mean, it's okay. I'm, I'm. Well, I mean, I guess you're. Snowman, but well, by all the laws of physics, I shouldn't be animated and alive, and yet yeah, here I am. My hat? Did you see the name uh, on the tag? I, mean, prop, I wrote uh, it. It says prop, Hinkle. Property rights, not my thing. I don't know. I'm gonna play with kids. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna play with kids. I tell you what, you just hang out. I'm gonna go play uh, with some kids. You have kids. to swear that you're gonna get the hat back, magician. <laughs> I'm going to follow you to the ends of the world to get that head back. <laughs> Scene oh. three. Ken, a precocious kid, determines that Frosty needs to get to the North Pole before he melts. They decide they need to get on a northbound train. Meanwhile, the devious Hinkle sneaks on the train as well. All right, I need a kid. Frosty! We, we... Oh, oh, hey, kid. What's going on? I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't understand. What's, uh, wait, 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 everything's great here in Philadelphia or wherever we are. I didn't believe in magic until I saw an inanimate snowman come to life by way of that enchanted hat. Yeah, However, well, by way of yeah. the increasing temperatures, you're melting. Oh, yes, this is just about I have Bell's palsy. I slept sideways on my face for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'll be, be fine. I mean, what's the big deal? My uncle had Bell's palsy, and he had to go to the North Pole to get a surgery. Uh, did, did they have like a Bell's palsy clinic? Because it's like uh, I heard that I heard once that um, uh, uh, who's it? Ralph Nader had uh, Bell's palsy. My uncle's Ralph Nader and Ken Nader, the precocious kid. Oh, Let's get on a northbound train. I hope no one follows us. Oh, all right. Fine. I mean, it's, oh, man, this is great. You, you know, I voted for Nader in 2000. Some people say he cost us Stop the election. Stop talking about my uncle. It's boring. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, uh, let's you and me get on this train. Oh, man, this train's kind of late. I just feel like we're sort of hanging out for a bit. Scene four, once at the North Pole, Frosty is safe from melting, but Ken is dying from frostbite. The angry uh, Henkler, who unbeknownst to anyone had snuck along the train as well, berates Ken and Frosty on their dumb plan. Frosty realizes they need to head back south. I'm cold! Oh, well, I don't see what, I mean, it's kind of great. Uh, I, can, I, can, I can flex, I can lift more, I can bench press some. I'm pretty... Oh, my dear! Real dumb, you guys. <laughs> That's what, did you guys hear the, the oh, wind it's right. howling? It's kind of kind of howling. <laughs> hey, um, y listen, you guys ain't Frodo and Samwise, all right? <laughs> this this little journey of yours, um, it sucks. It's been done before, and it's been done better. 
I mean... Rusty! Yeah, what's up? I can't feel my arms. <laughs> ah, you know, I can't feel anything. Uh, but mainly, it's probably because I don't have a soul. And I can't feel love. Who cares? <laughs> oh, All right, well, look, uh, here's the important thing. Let's let's find you... My a- teeth are chattering. I feel as if my plan to save your life has endangered mine. And no. now my childlike existence is fading into the wintry setting. Man, maybe maybe I should, like, give you a hug. And then uh, would, that, would that feel good? Let me just wrap my cold I'm arms around no, you. Oh, and no. Oh, no. I'm little... colder <laughs> by way of your snowy body. Oh, you idea ever. choking the life out that, of me. I, I if just... only you'd come up with a plan to save my life. Uh, oh, you know what? It's funny. It just popped in my head. Ain't there like one guy who lives in the entire world up here at the North Pole? Maybe if we wandered around aimlessly, we could find that one guy. And maybe he'll be like kind of half drunk with, like, wine dribbling down his chin, talking about misogyny and racism, and then maybe we could, like, sell you into slavery to that guy. Trying to find Santa so we can bring Ken back south, Frosty accidentally stumbles into a random greenhouse in the middle of the North Pole, because that makes effing sense. Meanwhile, Hinkle the evil magician traps them in there, and Frosty melts. Uh, okay, so... Hey, man, this is a spot that doesn't feel like anything else from the North Pole that I'm seeing or experiencing up until this point. Let me hang I'm out there. It's much warmer now that we're here in this insulated area for which sunlight is trapped and warmth is kept. Oh, that's sneaky great. Sneaky noises, it's, sneaky noises. I, I'm tiptoeing over. I'm tiptoeing over. I, I'm, I'm feeling like... I'm feeling like... Locked. Ah. Oh, I just locked you in. Feeling like maybe no, I'm... Oh, you're trapped forever. Frosty, you're melting. Really, oh, it's just so... It's so hot. No, no, I just, I, no. I just, no. Oh. Someone's so growing hot. weed in the North Pole. It's so... So melty all in this. It's just... Uh, Why is there a grow house in the North Pole? <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> wow, look at that. That's this in some meal. Bro, are you getting high? <laughs> Too bad. Scene I'm just, six. I'm just Ken a- begins crying over the melted uh, Frosty before an omnipresent voice uh, explains to Ken that Frosty is made of Christmas snow and can't melt. Frosty is revived when a window shatters in the greenhouse. If only someone could miraculously save the day. Bring, bring, bring. Oh, it's okay, Ken. Who's that? Well, I see you're crying, but I am the Christmas spirit. (laughs) Wait, wait, who am I? Are you God? Spirit? Not really, but we're kind of we're we're in cahoots. You're friends with God. I am. I'm, I I'm friends with God in the Disney way. You're not biblically friends with God. Does that mean you have sex with God? What? <laughs> no. Hey, let's just not worry about it, okay? He's. Let me just tell you, kid. Your whole trip up here was for naught because he's made out of Christmas snow, and Christmas snow is real special. He can't melt for reals. Wait a minute! I feel like you need to wrap this explanation! Oh no! Oh yes, do it, you gotta do it! You gotta play that beat! Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> That Christmas snow, it's something special. It keeps you warm. It makes you think you can fight. <laughs> that Christmas snow keeps you going okay, all night. Okay, that's good enough. <laughs> Ken passes out with happiness and wakes up back in his hometown. The angry heckler asks him what happens, and he tries to explain. Oh, I was so happy because Frosty woke back up. And now I'm back in my hometown. Uh, Angry uh, heckler, you kid, have to kid, believe kid, what kid, happened. Kid, how, how'd you get back here? I mean, wh- where did like I saw you guys, uh, you know, out in the snow. You were cold. You had some giant snowman molesting you. What happened? Uh, why? How, how'd you get back here? Oh, I was there, and there was a pot farm. And I passed out, okay, hey. and God started rapping to me, or at least God's <laughs> F buddy did, and then I woke up back here. Okay, kid, kid, listen, um, 
Don't care. <laughs> <laughs> The heckler says that if any of this was real, then Hink, where is Hinkle the evil magician now? Yeah, because think about this. If any of this was actually real, where's the magician? Seriously. Our final shot is Hinkle in the North Pole, muttering under his breath before finally dying in the snow. <laughs> uh, uh, I was bested by a fool. A magic fool. Uh, I grew this mustache for no good. Merry Christmas, one and all! Wait, wait, there's no, there's no, like, I come back from the dead or nothing? I've just melted here? <laughs> well, your Christmas snow, so Yeah, you can keep going all night. Oh, yeah, Frosty comes back to life and starts uh, rapping about his journey to the other side. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Woo! What up, my dead people? How many of y'all are dead out there? I'm dead. Yeah. I'm dead inside. Yo, yo, I'm an inanimate object. I'm not real. I'm a man made of snow, and I can't feel because I'm dead inside. Because I'm made from ice. Ice is cold. I don't have lice. Frosty, 2016. <laughs> <laughs> Your butt, Rankin Boss. Oh, oh, you feel that? That's a new holiday classic dropping in your lap. Oh, my God. All right, I need somebody funnier than both of us put together to take over here. Let's take a look. Woo! What's it like to come into the North Pole for the first time. Tell us about your first day and what they taught you when you came in. Well, when I came in, it was like all the toys around and they like told me about it and I really liked it. Like they taught me how to make toys. It was so fun. <laughs> yeah, okay, and so now you, uh, now when they said t tell you how to make toys, what happens when you, when you make a mistake, uh, like on a toy? Well, when I make an escape, well, when I make a mistake, they just, I just restart. You just restart. What happens to the old toys that are broken? <laughs> well, we just fix it. Hmm. We try to. Snowers, can, uh, can you tell us what really happens to the toys? First, I'll tell you what happens to you if you mess up on a toy. <laughs> What, what, what do you mean? I actually enjoy the consequences. You oh. enjoy the co wait, wait, oh, wait. So no you, Star Wars Christmas specials for a mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. That's a that's a valid point. That's that's good. What about you, uh, Snowflakes? Do you like the Star Wars holiday special? Yes, I love it. Oh, great! See, so, oh, <laughs> that's no, exactly. Add another one. <laughs> All right, man, dude. I think I think we're about to wrap things up over here. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Uh, did you get your present? Oh, dang it! We didn't go by and pick up the present because I assumed that we both. Um, it, did, it showed up a day too late last week, and I remember thinking about it today. Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! What are we getting? Uh, this came in uh, from I believe TV Zegon sent this uh, so we are. I'm literally opening this for the first time. Oh, I assume here. we both got the same thing. On the stream, it definitely looks to be a what? huge what? Diamond Club crest. Oh, my God. That's yeah. amazing. That's awesome. Oh, that's amazing. Holy cow. That's incredible. Dude, I am so getting T-shirts with that on it. Uh, my kids are going to wear T-shirts with that on it. That is awesome. So there we go. This is a gigantic flag that got sent to both me and Brian uh, it will certainly adorn uh, our uh, my, my apartment and Brian's house out it's, it's in It's S-E-B-G-O-N-Z. Sebagons. Oh, 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 Seb, Sebagons. 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 Seb so there we go. Uh, thank you so, so much, everybody uh, who, hold that hold that back uh, who up, put that man. together, man. That is so, so rad. Hold that back up. I am deeply in love. Like, I've never, I've never actually made love to a flag before, but that may change after I get my Christmas gift. Assuming oh, that had an L in there. Okay. Wait, what? Hmm? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's just sweep that under the rug. <laughs>
Uh, dude, that is epic, epic work, man. That looks absolutely amazing. That's dude, that's incredible. Thank that you is, so that much. Is, I mean, and listen, this is this is the kind of sappy portion uh, of of the Christmas special. Uh, Chat realm is is I don't know. I mean, like we had two number one albums this year, Brian. Two number one, two comedy albums that debuted at number one. Uh, you had a huge year on scam stuff, which is in no small part because of uh, of, of chat realm, both uh, Gatawag and DJ Z, as they were known through chat realm, are now core gigantic parts of your op uh, operation that came up through Diamond Club uh, and chat realm. The Go Home Santa, Your Drunk Book, has sold extraordinarily well for a first-time author uh, that you guys have completely uh, supported by way of your passion. So thank you guys so, so much for yeah. helping out. And, you, and you're, you're indispensable. I mean, and, and I'm going to say this to you, Justin, but at some point, there's, there's, there's only so long that you and I can personally, and, and it is not an act. When we are totally amazed by what Chat Realm makes possible, uh, we are genuinely thunderstruck every single time that uh, we assume every time that it's because we lucked out and had the right idea or we stole the right idea from you guys or whatever. But at some point, there's something that makes you think maybe just maybe we're actually part of something truly special here and that we have something that has momentum and that uh, like I look at the chat realm family and I see what's in store for them, uh, even as they face hardships, you know, the Corey Coleman spill.com shut down mm -hmm. immediately. He launches it 48 hours later, later, he's two and a half times funded. Jeff Kanata is bummed that totally rad show is going away. Boom. You know, $110,000 Kickstarter happens. Uh, and of course there's, there's projects that, that we want to talk more about, including Andrew Maine's don't trust Andrew main show on A&E coming up January 13th. Here's the thing guys. Um, at some point, you have to stop thinking that these are all little guys getting lucky and then start to think maybe we're part of something truly precious and special. And that's what I've really come to believe in my heart. And I don't know how we stumbled into your arms, Chat Realm, but, but the last five years has been uh, the best experience of my life. And so much of it is because my family just exploded in size from being four or five people to 500 to a thousand of you. I mean, it's just, it's incredible. And I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's truly special and it means a lot to me. I mean, there's really only one way to say it as the diamond club flag, the chat realm flag continues to fly. And that is, uh, we love you guys. Uh, thank you so much for another absolutely uh, amazing year. That is a big Diamond Club uh, salute to literally everybody that is out there right now. Yeah. Uh, all right. Last thing I got, I, I got one more uh, element with the Jaded Elves. You want to you want to go out with that, or I guess uh, anything else we should talk about? Uh, no. I think uh, I think we are. Uh, let, let's go ahead. Let, let, let's play the Elves, and then if there's anything else, we can come back to. It. All right. You got it. Here we go. Bonus segment. Consider this on the on the expensive DVD you paid a billion dollars for. The Cut Interview, Too Hot for TV. Apparently, it's just an outro. Now, of course, the biggest thing when it comes to working at the North Pole is it's all about Christmas Eve, right? That's your big holiday push. What happens to the work schedule as you get close to the big night, Snowflakes? Well, we dress up really like elves. Oh, wait, are there times you don't dress up as elves? No. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, All right then. Wait. Okay. Wait. Are there are there paid vacations? Do you ever get paid vacations, snowflakes? No. <laughs> what, what about uh, what we about? We get unpaid vacations. Do, do you get do you get uh, do you get uh, fam family time off? When we do our unpaid vacations. Oh, you have to. What, what about? We never we have... ever get paid when we're not working. Do you, do you have full dental coverage? No. What? Whoa. What about retirement benefits? Do you have a 401k? No. We never retire, so no. Uh, like 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 health insurance benefits? No. Workman's comp? What's workman's comp? Uh. No. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, hey, the, the folks, folks in the chat room made a very good point that we need to uh, we need to bring up the fact that the Chat Realm Awards are happening right now. Do you have a URL? It's, I assume it's chatrealm.us slash awards. I just made that up. Let's see if I'm right. I'm going to type that in and see what happens. Uh yeah, I, I'm, I'm being told that Chat Room Awards is uh, the way to go. Also, this is not the final episode of the year. This is just kind of sort of our our sort of unofficial end of the year. In the same way that you know Dragon Con is kind of our Super Bowl, the the Christmas episode kind of represents sort of the end of it. We will have a New Year's Eve episode, and in fact, it's going to be a very very special one because we will be live, me and Brian, in the same exact place at the same exact time as what? part of Twitch. Uh, New Year's Eve a special. They are going to be live for 26 hours. Did I hear that right? Jeez. 20. No, is it just 24? I heard it was more than that today on on All About Android. 24. All right. Uh, they're going to go through every single. Um, uh, Leo will be on the stream. He says for every single one of uh, the time zones, New Year's Eve. That's allegedly what is happening. We will be here. Live on the stream at 7 p.m. Pacific time, 10 uh, p.m. Eastern time. That's also, I'm going to be performing my complete and full live stage show. If you've never seen it, it's not bad. Apparently, it made an entire uh, uh, lifestyle available for me. <laughs> it, it, it paid for everything. Uh, and uh, it's pretty good. I'm excited about getting some footage of me uh, more recent performing for an audience. And so hopefully we'll be able to put some of this in the demo reel. I want it to look good. I want all of this footage to look really and good. And we will apparently, uh, I'm looking at the twit schedule right here. Uh, we will on NSFW be live right up until we will, we will be the countdown for Eastern time. We will be the countdown for, uh, oh my for God. East Coast, okay, wait, wait, uh, New Year's Eve. When are they, when are they scheduling my full magic show? I do not, no. Okay, you don't All see I'm anything. All I'm seeing here is just twit shows. Okay, all right. Uh, by the oh, way... You might be... Yeah, I think you are going to be af right after, so you would be uh, a big celebration for East Coast time and then NSFW. I'm not sure. All we right, will we'll have more information on that before we come... Uh, before we go through with everything. Um, I do... I, I think there might be a Jackie Hearn clip to close us out. I, I, All right, we'll see, we'll see about that. In the meantime, we do have one more announcement. Uh, our very own beloved Yoshi is live in the audience right now, the focus on live. Uh, she is right there sharing with us photos That's of great. her new work of the for the 200th episode of NSFW. You got images of uh, Max Trollbot, uh, Pedo Bear, and Mr. Happy Pants, along with yours truly and Justin Robert Young. Uh, man, oh man, am I happy that uh, that Yoshi's doing all right. That's fantastic. Yeah, no, big health scare for Yoshi, and, and we were very, very, very excited, uh, obviously, to to see her doing as well as she is, and to see her drawing again uh, fills my heart with joy. I'm very, very happy to see Right on. That. Okay, well, that's, look, that's we're, so awesome. we're going to officially wrap up at this point, but unofficially we'll play, uh, we'll probably wrap up this episode with the premiere, the world premiere of the puppetized Jackie Hearn exclusive video of Justin Robert Young's, uh, which track is it called? Uh, Untitled Santa Prequel <laughs> is, is what it is. Uh, and let me just say this. Jackie has been working feverishly. There is, I mean, she works a full-time job, and then she also does the crazy stuff that she does. I threw her this as just a, uh, hey, I know you like doing stuff based on the audio content that we've done for the Night Attack albums. Maybe you'd like this. And she has really been rocking uh, and roll, uh, rocking and rolling. Okay, so uh, it'll be at the end of this episode. So right now for this episode, uh, Brian, let's say goodbye, and then it'll be right after that. Yeah, you got it. All right, well then, here, let's just, uh, we'll officially wrap things up on behalf of myself, Justin Robert Young. Uh, Bonnie, the Invisible Wife, thank you for spreading that Christmas cheer and for indicating that you had, like, sex with God. Well, sure. That's not really what I meant, but Also, my thanks pleasure. for indicating that I had sex with a man. I'm so oh, whoops. I'm yeah, yeah, that was, that that was, was a poor It was, was a good night. Yeah, it was a great night. Glad thank you children. for having me up. Brian, bring down the lullaby. Yeah, uh, yeah what's up? Oh, wait. There you go. You want to wrap your goodbyes? One final goodbye, Bonnie? Come on. Go ahead. <laughs> Come on. You can't 
do this every time. Oh, I can't deny that beat, baby. <laughs> Here we go. All it's right, all right, all right. <laughs> I'm trying to seduce her is what's going on. Uh, special thanks to both DJ Z Lonely Dot Geek and, of course, Brand Hughes, Butcher Brand, uh, Gatawag. Kick it ass. <laughs> Support players. Thanks to uh, to Santa. <laughs> I love the bass thump that happens. Thanks for Santa for calling in. Look, uh, best year ever. Thank you so much, guys. Do me a favor. Die in a fire. See you next Tuesday. Also, fill out the Twit survey. Where's the Twit survey? Where is it? Twit.tv slash survey. Yeah, man. Your voice matters. <laughs> yep. Let's make it. I love, I love the fact that it automatically plays the award song <laughs> afterward. <laughs> All right. Hey, Brian. What's up? No. Uh, Teespring.com slash chat realm hyphen crest. Teespring.com slash chat realm dash crest is where you want to go if you want to get a t-shirt of that sweet, sweet chat realm design. It's freaking amazing, man. That's really good. Let me go ahead and pop this thing open. Let me bust that app open. I'm going to bust that app um, wide open. What? Woo! Dude, that is such a dope-ass design. That is really awesome. That is really, really good.